We are speaking with Sean Ballon today, co-founder and COO of the Writer Company on their latest project, which is a community-driven NFT series called Cryptofini. Welcome, Sean. Good to have you here. Uh, could you start off by giving us a self-introduction? Yeah, so um, I'm Sean. Uh, I am the COO and co-founder of the Writer Company, which, as Peter said, is a community-driven media company that focuses on crypto. Uh, basically, a few years ago, um, I teamed up with Kenny Leinhardt, who was the founder of EOS Writer, the community-driven EOS publication. And we discovered the power of community-driven publications. And we wanted to expand outside just EOS because crypto is a big space and there's potential everywhere. So we started forming a plan to launch Crypto Writer, which launched a little over a year ago. And we focus on all crypto communities. We have 40 plus writers from all over the world, and they are free to use our publication to share their diverse perspectives. Yeah, this is really interesting because there's definitely a lot of uh, crypto medias already, but most of them have this uh, traditional structure. Uh, they operate as a company and it's really closed uh, kind of culture that you need to apply. You need to go through the interview process and get hired and maybe only full-time personnel only. Uh, this is uh, the writer company, how its structure is definitely fit well with, you know, the blockchain decentralized, you know, the market crisis, this kind of movement. And tell us about um, your crypto finia project. How do you guys come up with this uh, thing? Okay, so w our mission, our company's mission was to drive blockchain adoption to the masses. And it's like, how do you do that? Um, a lot of people want to, in crypto, like all the publications, they tell the story about speculation. They tell the story about the price. But crypto is bigger than that. There, there's, you know, Crypto tech has the power to lift societies and, and knock down borders. So we saw NFTs as a way, NFT artwork, artworks universally relatable. Everyone can appreciate art and NFTs provide the tool to market, to, to market um, our vision or our mission to you know, everyone. Uh, so basically what we did, we created a brand mascot um, the community named him Finney after Hal Finney, the Bitcoin pioneer. And Finney is an android who comes to Earth to learn about crypto. And when he gets to Earth, he runs into all this noise and all these shills trying to pull him in different directions. And there's a guy named Peter Schiff in Finney's story after Peter Schiff, the gold bug, who takes a liking to Finney because Finney is made out of gold and everyone from Finney's planet is made out of gold. So Peter shifts there trying to influence Finney. Um, but basically what happens in the story is Finney discovers a device and the device is called Crypto Writer. And when he plugs into that device, he gets the clear crypto signal. He, he learns and, and uh, educates himself on crypto. So basically what we've done with Finney is we've, weaved his story throughout our entire brand and we use nfts to reward our community that follow his story this is finney's story okay and basically what we did is we did a series of giveaways of nft giveaways surrounding the artwork that told finney's story and this is chapter one finney's arrival so you see here finney comes to earth and he's looking out and there's all this stuff about crypto, shitcoin sales, all these things. And he's faced with all this crypto noise. And then here's Peter Schiff of Schiff Gold. And Peter sees Finney out there and sees he's made of gold and takes a liking to him. And then here's Finney plugging into Crypto Writer. And this is where he gets the clear signal of content. So... Basically, what we did with this is we did a giveaway on Twitter. 
a giveaway on our publication. And we also did a giveaway to all crypto writer membership card holders. Um, and, and so that's how we basically let people know about the story of Finney. And if they were active and participated in the giveaway, they got some of this awesome artwork. And if you notice on the back of the card, there's a QR code. And with all the cards we release, we use QR codes and they link back to the article, back to Finney's article. So if Finney discovers, like in next chapter, if Finney discovers Ethereum, for instance, um, then there will be an article on Ethereum. And when you get that Finney card, you can hit that QR code and it will take you to the article on Ethereum. So it's a great way for community and people new to crypto to learn about things and also get rewarded with NFTs. Um, I can take you to, here's the writer company's website. Um, but what I want to show you is the membership card because this is really cool and this ties into everything. So for active community members, community members that you know, engage with us in Facebook, I mean, uh, Facebook, Telegram, uh, Twitter, you know, that they're the ones that help retweet our posts and everything. They get an invite only crypto writer membership card. And what this membership card does, as long as you are holding it, it guarantees you to a lifetime of NFT airdrops. So whenever we do new chapters in Finney's story and release new artwork, if you are holding one of these membership cards as an NFT, we're able to airdrop that artwork to those membership card holders. Um, which brings us to Crypto Finney, okay? And Crypto Finney is, you know, we, we, we came from EOS, right? Um, and basically there's nothing going on on EOS regarding NFTs. You go on EOS Atomic Hub and there's like five transactions a day. And we wanted to change that, okay? So what we decided to do is drop 5,000 Crypto Finneys on EOS and 5,000 Crypto Finneys on WAX, okay? And again, membership card holders, they get a handful of these just for having that membership card. So here's Crypto Finney. And in the way we did the the way we did the airdrop or the way we did the distribution is we have these shift gold crypto finney coins, okay? And later in the story, you found out how Peter Schiff got these coins. But we dropped 5,000 coins on EOS, 5,000 coins on WAX, and in about 12 days. Um, you'll be able to burn these coins. And what happens when you burn these coins? You get a unique Crypto Finney, okay? Um, and Finneys come in five different metals and they have a bunch of different attributes. So everyone's Finney is going to look different, okay? And they're all going to come in these different metals. And if you get three of the same metal Crypto Finney and you burn them, you get a bare mess metal chestahedron finny, okay? Um, and if you get two bare metal chestahedron finnies and you burn them, you get this animated Bitcoin miner finny NFT. Um, so it's really interesting because the burn mechanics, we've distributed or we're distri in the process of distributing 10,000 coins on two different blockchains if everyone decides they're going to burn their coin to get a crypto finny, then those coins are going to be rare, right? The finnies come in diff five different metals. Some of the metals are more rare than the others. If you start burning different metals, you get these cool bare metal chestahedron finnies, and there's different color chestahedrons, some more rare than others. Um, and then if you're able to get, you know, multiple bare metal finnies of the same metal, and you burn them, you get the Bitcoin miner finny of that metal. Um, so we don't know exactly what's going to happen when we put this out into the wild. There's a, there's a ton of game theory that that's hard to think through, but that's basically kind of our NFT model. Um, we, we have NFT membership that we reward uh, 
active community members, anyone, even if you don't have a membership card, if you're paying attention, if, if you're engaging our content on our various channels, Twitter, Telegram, all those things, there's opportunities to not only get things like gold coins that you'll later burn to Crypto Finney, but also to get awesome like NFT artwork each chapter of uh, each chapter of Finney's story. Um, and also even beyond that, uh, we've building all these relationships with different writers, I mean, different artists, different digital artists. And we do a, a feature I'll show you here called Behind the Pixel. Um, and what Behind the Pixel is, is basically an artist is able to give up, uh, they give us a piece of their artwork and our writer does a big profile on the artist called Behind the Pixel. And then we take that piece of artwork and put it in an NFT card. We airdrop it to our membership card holders. And then on the back of the card, the QR code takes you back to the, the article on the artist. So, so what we feel like is, you know, we're in a, this NFT space, everyone's just, just trying to mint NFTs and make money and, and do all this stuff. And um, as an artist, how do you stand out? Like, how do you make a name for yourself? It's difficult when everyone's doing it, right? But we feel that if you're willing to give a little bit, like if you're willing to give a little bit of your artwork to Crypto Writer for free and we profile you and then we give that artwork to our community who then goes out and promotes the artwork and retweets and does all these things, all of a sudden as an artist, you've got a community behind you. So we wanted to build something sustainable and in, in something that rewards artists, rewards communities, and just rewards anyone that engages with our content. Uh, have you guys distributed all the gold coins and people are just waiting to, to burn them when the countdown's over? <laughs> so we've, we've distributed a lot of gold coins. We started with our membership card holders. We gave them three each. And then what we did as part of our distribution, because it's very difficult for one entity to get rid of 10,000 coins. How do you do that? But we looked for other active entities in the space, influencers, people with podcasts on EOS, you know, recognizable names, people doing good stuff. Um, same with Wax. And we gave them each an allotment of coins and then they on their shows when they have their podcast or they're airdropping to their community of of their nft holders etc um so we're we're in the middle of it right now um i'd say the distribution's about halfway done um what's going to be really interesting and and again if, if 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 you're interested in getting a gold coin i mean you can always go buy one people are selling them on atomic hub on both the eos and wax side um i think the other day they were going for 18 bucks a piece which is great i think it's still a little overvalued i think you should go out there and engage with our content and there's plenty of opportunities to get them What's going to be really interesting is when all the coins are out there and there's going to be about a week where people are going to want to start accumulating them because they're going to want to get those metals and they're going to want to go through the burn mechanics. So again, this is like, uh, like anything in crypto. It's an experiment. Uh, we're excited to see how the community reacts, uh, but, but right now the response, like in our Telegram group, the people driving this thing uh our awesome community that like they've been incredible they've been tuning in to all the podcasts and 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 really supporting us so it's been really cool to see also that kenny just recently gave me some coins to distribute to the chinese community so yeah so we're, we'll, we'll be running promotions and do like follow what follow our latest update to find out how you can get your gold coins and last bit, and um, also the, the writer team has done some work on the Asian community. There's a special NFT that you guys created. Could you tell us about it? So I don't think anyone has seen this yet. Um, oh, so we get the exclusive look. And that's exciting. Yeah, and, and the card's not complete, but I can show you the artwork. So. 
you know, we know there's a huge Asian crypto community and a community in China that we didn't, you know, a, as a brand, we don't we don't discriminate. We want people from everywhere joining us uh, on our on Finney's journey. Um, so so we wanted to do something special for the Asian community. So we made a red dragon, which I will show you here. Um, and basically what it is, it's a three card set. Okay, so there's three different pieces of Finney's artwork or three different crypto Finney's. And if you collect all three pieces of the dragon, then it, by, by a certain date, we will airdrop you the animated version. I'll share those right now. So I don't know. Can you see this? The head? Yep. Yes. Okay, it there's the head cool. of the red dragon. And I'm going to zoom in because this is picture. So someone had to our, our amazing artists put every one of those pixels in to create the dragon um there's the middle and you can kind of see finney's feet pointing through there and then there's the back of the dragon and if you collect all three by a certain date then it's moving a little slower right now on the, on the screen probably because we're recording but there is the animated version of the card. Um, so really cool, we're, we're excited about that. And I think we are releasing, if I'm not mistaken, 300 of these cards, okay? 100 of each uh, part of the dragon's body. And so there, there's the possibility to create a hundred dragons, a hundred complete dragons, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So we, we really look forward to how this will turn out. Hopefully it's gonna be a great success. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're all about, you know, um, building bridges between, you know, we're, as a publication, we're chain agnostic, you know, we, we think the future of cryptos, these bridges that are being built between chains and between different communities, right? That that's what's really gonna gonna drive this this uh, this thing forward. So thank you. And yeah, my my last question is that uh, earlier you mentioned that there's a like kind of like a NFT craze or hype or I don't know if it's a bubble, but where do you see NFT go from here? say in two years time, like what will, how will the NFT scene look like? Okay, well, you know, I, I think NFTs are here to stay. I think, I, I mean, I, this, I kind of see this on multiple fronts, um, but I think we're moving towards an internet of value um, where, where content creators have ownership, right? And this is through blockchain technology, um, you know, where, where people used to, you know, um, upload pictures to Instagram, right? Now they're going to be uploading NFTs and they're going to be able to trade them and sell them and all those things. Uh, I imagine going to something like a, a concert and and walking through the, the gate and having someone scan the ticket on my phone and then receiving an NFT, you know, maybe I'm the first one to walk into the concert. Maybe I have mint one of that, concerts nft and then being able to take that nft and put it on social media and marketplaces and and buy trade sell all those things um i also see nfts is like the most amazing marketing tool ever invented um because you can really use them to drive engagement you know reward mechanism whatever you want um you know they're, they're pretty powerful um, and then you have things like fractionalized real estate and stuff where, where I think NFTs are, are going to play some sort of role. Um, but yeah, I, I think NFTs are here to stay. I'm excited to see what models and, and what tools are, are going to be around when the dust settles. But this is like the same feeling I got when I first discovered crypto, like you knew anyone who's fallen down the crypto rabbit hole, you knew pretty early, like, you don't, you knew this had massive potential and you knew it wasn't going away, but how it would gain adoption, you weren't really exactly sure. I feel the exact same way about NFTs that they're, they're awesome. There's so much innovation going on, 
I'm not exactly what's going to be here to stay, um, but I'm, I'm excited to find out. Yeah, I think NFT is still in the early days and we have come so, so like such a long way and we have introduced like, you know, bare mechanics and you have like special rights when you hold NFT, you gain access to, to other things. So it's definitely going to be way different in two years and it's going to be so much better. And before yeah. we close, how, how does people follow uh, the writer company and your crypto finney project where should they go okay well the easiest place is to go to writer.io which is our website and from there that takes you to different places if you're interested in following any of our publications i would start with crypto.writer.io and um I'd love it if we could share our, our Telegram link because that's an awesome community of people willing to, to guide you along and get you involved with Crypto Finney and, and our other NFT projects. So, um, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Sean. Good luck with your project. And we look forward to distributing the gold coins to the Asian community and let, let the world have fun with your NFT. Yeah, great, so talking, great talking to you, Peter.